Arabic princesses play an important role in the Arab world because they are seen as secondary to the crown princes and monarchs. Some princesses have identities other than Arab royal queens such as activists, benefactors, models, and so on. So, do you want to meet them? Do you want to know who the wealthiest among them are? Well, keep watching till the end to know more. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today in this fantastic episode, we'll introduce you to the Arab royalty's richest princess. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to follow us. With that said, let's get started. Amira Al Tawil, Princess of Saudi Arabia, has an estimated net worth of $18 billion. Amira bin Aidan bin Nayef Al Tawil Al Otaibi is a former Saudi princess and philanthropist. Amira was born into a non royal cadet branch of the Saud family and married Prince Al Walid bin Talal Al Saud becoming vice chairperson of the Al Walid bin Talal Foundation. Silatech's board of trustees includes Al Tawil. In Saudi Arabia, she has pushed for women's rights. Al Tawil was born in the Saudi city of Riyadh. Aydan bin Nayef Al Tawil Al Otaibi is her father. In Riyadh, she was reared by her divorced mother and grandparents. While interviewing for a school paper at the age of 18, she met Prince Al Walid bin Talal, a man 28 years her senior. They eventually married in 2008 and divorced in November 2013. She's no longer a princess and doesn't belong to the royal house of her ex-husband, Prince Al-Walid bin Talal Al Saud, following their divorce. al Tawil earned a magna cum laude degree in business administration from the University of New Haven. In September 2018, al Tawil married Emirati billionaire Khalifa bin Bouti al Muhairi in Paris. Zayed, their son, was born in 2019. Amira al Tawil is the vice chairperson and executive committee chairperson of the Al Walid bin Talal Foundation in Saudi Arabia. The foundation is a non profit international organization that supports programs and projects aiming at poverty alleviation, disaster relief, interfaith dialogue, and women's empowerment. She has been interviewed by Pierce Morgan and has been published in Newsweek, The Daily Beast, and The Huffington Post. Her most recent expedition was to Somalia, where she and her ex-husband managed the delivery of foundation-sponsored aid. Amira al Tawil is the founder and CEO of Times Entertainment, as well as the co-founder of Tasami, a non-profit that supports social entrepreneurship. Her ex-husband, Prince Al-Walid, was cautioned by his brother, Prince Khalid, to limit Amira's media appearances or else they would be penalized without warning the next time. This conflict resulted in their divorce. Amira was recently featured on Bloomberg by Charlie Rose on her efforts in Saudi Arabia for equal rights on women's development. Next, the princes of Kuwait, Intisar Salem Al Ali Al Saba follows. Shika Intisar Al Saba is a Kuwaiti social entrepreneur, philanthropist, novelist, film producer, columnist, and princes of Kuwait's ruling dynasty, the House of Al Saba. Intisar is a humanitarian organization that supports health, the environment, education, women's empowerment, child protection, and human rights. She founded the social enterprises Intisars and Ibarra, as well as the non-profit organizations al Nawer and Barik, and the charitable organization Intisar Foundation, all of which adhere to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. From 2011 to 2017, Intisar developed and operated Lulua Publishing, the GCC region's first publishing house focused on well-being, personal growth, and empowerment. She was also the founder of Al Nawer, a non-governmental organization founded on March 20, 2013, the UN International Day of Happiness. Boomerang, an anti-bullying school outreach program, and Yellowworks, a corporate training program for creating happy work cultures, are two of her current endeavors. Shika Intisar presented Al Nawer's Boomerang and Barik programs regarding Sustainable Development Goal 4, one of the Sustainable Development Goals, in January 2020. She joined the board of directors of Refrigeration Industries and Storage Company, or SAC, one of the Gulf's first air conditioning enterprises in 2003. From 2006 to 2011, she served as chairwoman and managing director. In appreciation of her humanitarian and philanthropic services, Kuwaiti journalist and novelist Shika Intisar were granted the Knight in the Order of the Crown, Chevalier de l'Ordre de la Caroon by Belgium. The Arab Women Group awarded the Community Building Organization Al Nawer the Arab Women Award 2017, Achievement in Community Development, or AWO. Next, Princess Lala Hasna of Morocco has an estimated net worth of $2.1 billion. 
Morocco's Princess Lala Hasna is the eldest daughter of King Hassan II and his wife Lala Latifa Hamu. She's the present king's and Prince Malay Rashid's sister. She attended the Royal College of Art in Rabat. Princess Hasna has been involved in social and cultural activities since she was a youngster, with a particular focus on environmental issues in Morocco. In 1999, she initiated a nationwide environmental campaign and was awarded the prize for Morocco's most beautiful and cleanest beach. Princess Hasna founded the Mohammed VI Foundation for Environmental Protection in 2001 to support her efforts. She chairs the foundation's governing board and makes on-the-ground trips to educate the public about environmental issues. Princess Lala Hasna established the Environment Prize for Young Reporters in 2002 and a Photographic Prize in 2003, both of which are awarded yearly on International Environment Day. She's the Hassanate Association for Human Development's Honorary President. On September 8th and 9th, 1994, Princess Lala Hasna married Dr. Khalil Ben Harbit, born in 1959, MD, a cardiologist in Fez. They have two children, Lala Umayma Ben Harbit and Lala Ulaya Ben Harbit. Lala Hasna owns a shell firm that purchased an 11 million pound mansion near Kensington Palace in central London. According to the Pandora Papers, Hasna purchased the property with the Moroccan royal family capital. The deal documents she declared that her occupation is princess. Questions sent to the palace after the desk became public have yet to be answered. Next, Shika al Mayasa bin Hamad bin Khalifa al Tani, princess of Qatar, has an estimated net worth of $2.1 billion. She's the sister of Qatar's ruling emir, Tamim bin Hamad al Tani, and the daughter of Qatar's father, Amir Hamad bin Khalifa al Tani, and his second wife, Moza bin Nasser al Misnet. On Art Plus Auction's top 10 list in Art Review's Power 100, Al Mayasa was named the most influential person in the art, and she also featured prominently on the Time 100 and Forbes the world's 100 most powerful women. Gulf Business named her one of the top 100 most powerful Arabs from 2014 to 2017 and again in 2021. Al Mayasa is the chairperson of Qatar Museums, and Bloomberg stated that her annual purchasing budget for the organization is expected to be $1 billion. Al Mayasa allegedly paid $300 million for Paul Gauguin's When Will You Marry in 2015, a record price for an artwork. She opened the exhibition What About the Art in March 2016. Kai Guo Kyung, a Chinese artist, has curated a new exhibition at Alderwalk Gallery. Qatar paid $250 million for Cezanne's The Card Players in 2012, as well as $70 million for Mark Rothko's White Center, Yellow, Pink, and Lavender and Rose in 2007. A Damon Hurst pill cabinet for $20 million and works by Jeff Koons, Andy Warhol, Roy Lichtenstein, and Francis Bacon. She has organized important exhibitions with Takashi Murakami, Richard Serra, and Damon Hurst in Qatar. Duke University awarded Shika Almayasa a BA in Political Science and Literature in Durham, North Carolina, USA. She founded a non-governmental organization, Reach Out to Asia, in 2005. She's the founder and chairperson of the Doha Film Institute, which she established in 2010. In 2018, she was appointed to the Board of Trustees of the Rhode Island School of Design for a three-year term. Shika Almayasa is claimed to have paid $300 million for the world's most expensive painting, Paul Ganguin's When Will You Marry? She's organized important exhibitions with Takashi Murakami, Richard Serra, and Damon Hurst in Qatar. The Shika is in charge of several museums, including the Eye. M. Pei designed the Museum of Islamic Art in Doha, and Jean Novel designed the National Museum of Qatar. Next, Princess Iman bint Abdullah of Jordan has an estimated net worth of $750 million. Princess Iman bint Abdullah is a Jordanian princess who is the first daughter and second child of Jordan's King Abdullah II and Queen Rania. She is a direct descendant of the Islamic prophet Muhammad for the 42nd time. She is the second child of Prince Abdullah and Princess Rania and was born on September 27, 1996 at King Hussein Medical Center in Amman. She is the youngest of three siblings. Princess Iman belongs to the Hashemite family. Her paternal grandfather was then reigning King Hussein and her grandmother was his second wife, English-born Princess Muna. Crown Prince Hussein is Iman's older brother and Princess Salma and Prince Hashem are her younger siblings. Muna Huma, Princess Iman's paternal cousin, attended the International Academy Amman or IAA. 
She graduated from IAA on June 4, 2014, and was named the top female athletes in her class. She's presently enrolled at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C., where her brother, Crown Prince Hussein, also attends. The Royal Hashemite Court confirmed Princess Iman's engagement to Jamil Alexander Jimmy Thermiotis on July 6, 2022. In New York City, he co-founded Outbound Ventures, a technology investment firm. Jamil is the eldest son of George Alexander Thermiotis and his wife Maria Karina Hernandez de Thermiotis. Next, Sarah, the Crown Princess of Brunei, and net worth reported being $28 billion. Sarah is the wife of al Mutadi Bila, the Crown Prince of Brunei, and was born as a daughter of a distant member of the royal family. At the age of 17, she married the Crown Prince while enrolled in a pre-university program. The couple has four kids. Brunei's Crown Prince is Pengiran Anak Sara Binti Pengiran Saleh Ab Rahman. On September 9, 2004, at the age of 17, she married Crown Prince al Mutadadi Bila. Foreign royals and leaders of government attended the ceremony, which was named the Asian Wedding of the Year. She received first-class honors in public policy as an undergraduate from the University of Brunei Darussalam. She was a member of the university's army cadets and a good netball scorer. And that concludes our discussion for today. To receive more entertaining and useful stuff like this, please like the video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. On that note, share your views on the rich royal queens of the Arab nations in the comments section as well. Thanks for watching.